We continue our team coverage now. The crash shut down the airport for hours, immediately stopping all flights and leaving people aboard planes until it was safe for them to get off. Channel 3's Eva Zamaris joins us live from inside Bradley now. Eva, how are flights looking this morning? Good morning to you both. Flights are looking good. We're seeing green all across the board for arriving and departing flights. Now, if you also take a look behind me, you can see that things are quieting down here at Bradley. But it was very busy even just a couple of minutes ago. Now, the airport was bustling yesterday morning with people checking in, waiting for their flights, and hopping aboard planes here at Bradley International Airport. But all of a sudden, everything came to a screeching halt. People looked outside and saw thick black smoke filling the air they quickly learned a B-17 crashed on runway 6. One of my friends was on a plane moments from takeoff when they were alerted that something had, hap had happened. She said everyone fell silent as they watched what was unfolding not far from where they were. Now, in the aftermath of this terrible and tragic accident, the, air the airport was shut down for hours. The Connecticut Airport Authority says 39 flights were canceled and 19 flights were delayed yesterday. Travelers had a couple of options, waited out or rebooked their flights and leave from another airport. Now, we did speak with one woman traveling today who said that her heart is with those who were on board that plane and their families. We have to put things in perspective what's important. And if we had gotten delayed, so be it. Again, we are seeing green all across the board this morning, but if you are flying out of Bradley today, you are being encouraged to double check with your airline to confirm your flight itinerary today. I will have much more on the story coming up in our next half hour. Live at Bradley this morning, I'm Eva Zamaris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.